Hi everyone, my name is Kavya Chandra and in today's video, I'll walk you through the steps to register and scan from an Oracle database. Let us first visit the prereqs needed. The first prereq is to have the latest version of self-hosted integration runtime on your virtual machine. Second, JDK 11 on the same virtual machine where uh, self-hosted integration runtime is running. Visual C++ Redistributable 2012 Update 4 on the same virtual machine is needed as well. Make sure you have the Oracle JDBC driver downloaded on the virtual machine where SHIR is running. Please note the driver should be accessible to all the accounts in the VM. Uh, so do not install it in a user account. The required permissions uh, on the Oracle database before registering it on Azure Purview are, you'll need a read-only access to the system tables. You'll also need permission to create a session, and then you'll need a role, select underscore catalog underscore role assigned to you. Uh, the different versions of the Oracle database that are supported today are 6i to 19c. Now let's get on to a demo. This is my test catalog um, to register a source, in this case, Oracle database. Let's click on register sources. Then I'll click on register. We see Oracle as one of the sources that is available in Purview, so let's click on that. Let's provide a friendly name. Next, we should be providing the host name um, of the Oracle server. It can be either a host name used by JDBC to connect to the database server or an IP address or even a fully qualified JDBC connection string. Uh, in this case, I'll be providing um, the host IP address. Next, um, the port number. Uh, this is uh, the port used to used by the JDBC to connect to the database server again. Uh, by default, it, it's usually 1521. So uh, in my case, it's the same. So I'm just going to give the same here. Next would be the, the Oracle service name, again, used by JDBC to connect to the Oracle database server. So this is my service name. Next, I would like this data source to be under the collection that I already have created, uh, which is the demo collection. So I'll just select that and click on register. Now, as you can see, um, this is the Oracle server that we have registered and it appears under the collection called demo collection. Now let us trigger a scan on the registered Oracle source. But before that, um, let's make sure we have an IR integration runtime up and running. So for that, navigate to Management Center and then to Integration Runtimes. Here, as you can see, I already have one up and running, but if you don't have one, click on New and you'll be able to set up an IR. Now let's come back to Data Sources. And on the Oracle Data Source that is registered, let's click on New Scan. I'll provide a friendly name here. I'll select the IR that's running. Um, again, we support for credentials, we support basic authentication on an Oracle server. So it's the username and password that that is stored in an Azure key vault. Um, so I've already created a credential where I have saved my username and password in an AKV for my Oracle source. So I'm going to use that uh, here. And if you want to scope uh, the scanning, you can provide uh, the name of the schema uh, in this particular input field. Uh, you can provide one or multiple schemas here. And if you are providing multiple schemas, it's going to be uh, semicolon separated. For example, if I have schema one and schema two uh, that I want to be included in the scope of the scanning, um, I separate them using a semicolon as shown here. But in this case, I want to get all the schemas that I have in the Oracle server. So I'll leave the field empty here. 
Now coming to the driver location, um, if you remember, we did have uh, one prerequisite where we wanted to have a JDBC, Oracle JDBC driver downloaded on the VM where your integration runtime is running. So let me provide the path where I have downloaded the Oracle JDBC driver on my VM. So this is the path in my VM. And uh, again, maximum memory availability, this is something uh, that is needed for us to know how much memory is available on your VM so that so much memory can be uh, uh, used up for the scanning activities or scanning processes. So I just give 16 GB here. And then um, I'm using the default cache location, uh, which is provided in the tooltip here. Um, if I want to change the location of my cache, I can provide it um, in the input parameter here. Uh, but in this case, I would just want to go with the default one. So I'll keep this as is. Next, I'll click on continue. You can either make it a recurring or a one-time scan. Um, I just go with the one-time scan for now. And then I'll review uh, the details that I, that I have provided and I'll click on save and run. While my scan runs, um, I already have another instance where I have run the scan on Oracle server. Um, as you can see, this is the scan that was completed and uh, we, we see that it's already successful here. So uh, let me go back to browse assets style and take a look at the Oracle instance. So this is the server name. Uh, next, I would be seeing the schemas that are available in that particular Oracle database and the different assets that you can see within this particular schema. Um, let's quickly go into the search results page as well, where you'll be, once I, you know, I see Oracle as one of the asset type, I click on that to see that, okay, hey, this is a server and these are the different schemas that I have. I'll just choose this particular schema uh, as an example. Uh, let's take a quick look into the employee table here where we show the overview. In the overview section, we show different information like description, classifications, uh, qualified name and hierarchy. The properties tab lists all the different properties associated to this article table. In the schema, you'll see all the column names. Uh, I don't believe there's a lineage for this, but I'll show an, another, another example on lineage. And of course, contacts, if you have experts and owners, that's where you would come and do the curation on this table. And in the related tab, um, you'll be seeing the different components under the article schema that is under consideration. Um, now let's go back to a view where I can show uh, the lineage. So this is an example of an Oracle view. So um, in the overview section, the details of description, classification, and qualified naming are shown. Properties we have, uh, you know, the different properties associated to this view is shown. Schema will again be the columns. And in the lineage, as you can see here, uh, this Oracle view um, takes inputs uh, input from two different tables, Oracle tables, which is tab one, tab one and tab two in this case. And through a query process, uh, this Oracle view is created. And this is depicted in the lineage view. So with this, I conclude my video on registering and scanning an Oracle database. I hope you have enjoyed it. Thank you.